my next reason for hope is this amazing brain of ours. We haven't always used it wisely, and today there are many people not using it wisely. But, yeah, well, there are. I sometimes wonder if they have a brain at all. At any rate, um, with this amazing brain, we are beginning to come up with technologies, you know, clean, green energy that will allow us to lead lives in greater harmony with nature. And if only governments would subsidize the companies working on clean, green energy instead of this love affair with, with oil and gas companies. Instead, the oil and gas companies are given tax grant breaks and those working with clean, green energy are taxed. So, but nevertheless, our brains are beginning to work in this direction. And importantly, with every single one of you can do, use your brain to make the lightest ecological footprint every day that you can. Next reason for hope, the thank you. Next reason for hope, the next reason for hope is the resilience of nature. Fly over Gombe today as a result of Takari, you won't see bare hills. They're covered in trees. The villagers are so pleased to work with us, their lives are getting so much better. They've set land aside around Gombe to be a buffer between the park and the villagers. The seeds left in the ground and sometimes the roots, given a chance, will spring back to life. The trees have come back and the villagers understanding that protecting the environment is protecting their own future as well as wildlife. They are planting trees and allowing trees to grow back on the steep slopes. And this is happening everywhere. I'm sure many of you know places that we have destroyed where given a chance, life can return and once again it can become beautiful. And animal species on the very brink of extinction can be given another chance. I wrote a whole book about it called Hope for Animals on Their World. 